Yo. What's up? It's ya boy. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, this is gonna be a shake tutorial. I literally just found out how to do this shake like a few weeks ago. I started using a shake similar to this one like in December, but then I've adjusted it to, the, to my liking and stuff. So basically, you're just gonna wanna have your, your thing ready and then put your image in. I'm just using this one because it was in my Dropbox and I'm too lazy to render out a clip of some Life is Strange thing, whatever. So you're gonna wanna get your motion tile, get that ready. I usually just like to do 400 and 400 and then I mirror the edges. Uh, turn on motion blur, which you do by clicking this and then you enable motion blur for a clip like by clicking that. So, now, this is how you do the shake. You press P, and then you animate it. Go, keep it normal for the first frame. Go two frames in. Put it down to like 430-ish or whatever. Then go one, two, three, four out. Then put it up like 290, no, 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 not 290. Like, I don't know, 305 maybe. Yeah, 305. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, put it half. Put it to like 400 maybe. Or like half of this. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if you can't tell by now, it's each keyframe is after uh, one frame longer. And it gets the shake gets smaller each keyframe. Six, seven. Oh, 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 excuse me. And you go half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can change the length of it if you want. Uh, this is just how I usually do it. Half, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can just put it back to normal if you want. If that's, it depends on how long your clip is, really. Um, so then you want to go, gonna, you're, you're going to want to. Usually, I like to separate the dimensions first. I probably should have done that before I did that, but uh, you don't need the X position, uh, and you gotta press F9 to make these easy eased, so that they're smooth. So now it should look like this. Let me just... There it is. So now you're going to want to add a rotation. So you go four frames in. Or five. Five is fine. Uh, and then you make it three. One... Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. One, two, three, four, five negative two it's basically just like the other one but like on a steady like it's just after five frames for each thing one two three four five one one two three four five negative zero point five if you want oh god uh one two three four five zero just put it back to zero and then select all the keyframes and press F9. That did not turn out right. Oh, yeah, it did. Yeah, sorry, I'm retarded. Uh, so then, if you want, you can. I usually make it zoom in and you can just make it go out back to 100. And you select these, press F9, go to your graph editor. Put that so it's like that just like that there you go there's your shake and if you want to do a rotation transition after this which is going to be hard since you you've got all these rotation animations already or keyframes or whatever right click and add a new adjustment layer and then use this to tie your clip to the adjustment layer and then you can rotate it like that 
so yeah that's that's how you do it uh, I it changes for each edit like it can pretty much vary I like to adjust it and change it up every now and then but that's pretty much the basic gist of what it is and what I like to do so yeah that, <laughs> that's really it um, yeah so thanks for watching I have no idea how long this video is but thanks for watching anyway and um, I'll be making more tutorials in the future and probably like time lapses of me making edits too which could be cool so yeah see you see you guys see you guys later bye